Hello and welcome to the MSU Awards Convocation. I'm McCoy Scribner. And I'm Hunter Gadwell. We're coming to you live from the Communication Arts and Sciences Building on MSU's campus. And down the hall in the Spartan Newsroom, I'm Nathan Stearns. And I'm Asia Lawrence. On the other side of the newsroom live is Bria Crawford. She will be introducing us to some of the winners tonight. Let's kick off tonight's awards program with the director of the School of Journalism, Dr. Tim Voss. Tim is here live with us in the studio to say a few words before we begin the convocation. Tim? As director of the School of Journalism, I want to extend my welcome to our scholarship and award winners and to their friends, family, and faculty. I'm glad we can celebrate your achievements today, acknowledge the support, encouragement, and instruction you've gotten along the way. I sometimes hear from people who like to refer to education as a product, a product that you buy, kind of a ticket to get you where you really want to go. A scholarship is just a 10% off coupon, or if you're fortunate, maybe a lot more than 10%. But I think all of you know better, an education, a good education, makes big demands on you. You need to work and think extremely hard. And with guidance and patience from faculty, you've made great strides. You've learned much, you've done well, and now we celebrate your achievements. So let's get on to the celebration. Congratulations, Spartans. Thanks, Dr. Voss. I'm Bria Crawford and I'm standing here live at the green carpet. And if you just take a look around me, or if we even head this way, this place is packed. I mean, just look at it. People are here. There's over 140 family, friends, and staff members here to support the 90 students who have definitely earned these awards and these scholarships tonight. And I will be lucky enough to meet some of these great award winners and recipients later this evening. And if we go ahead and uh, take a look back over here, 50 feet from where I'm standing is the newsroom, right where those bright lights are shining. We'll be heading back over there to start today's main event. Thank you, Bria. We start with the investigative journalism scholarship in memory of CBS News in 60 Minutes correspondent Ed Bradley. This award was started by Margie Bauman, an MSU J School alum who worked with Bradley in the mid 1970s as a writer at CBS News. Bauman wanted to give back and inspire future journalists, so she created the scholarship to help cur recognize current students while also recognizing renowned journalists. This year, there are four recipients. Matthew Bluestein is one of the first recipients of the Ed Bradley Scholarship Award. Matthew is a senior studying journalism at MSU. He describes himself as genuine, ambitious, and relentless. Matthew was grateful for his career in the student news production Focal Point and treasures working live as a live shot coordinator for the show. Nyla Hollins is the second winner in her career highlight at MSU has been reporting for Focal Point. Nyla is a junior at Michigan State studying journalism and describes herself as curious, assertive, and a genuine worker. Our third recipient is Luca. Luca is a junior studying journalism who describes himself as reliable, supportive, and passionate. His favorite memory at MSU thus far was covering the women's Big Ten soccer tournament for Impact 89 FM. Luca is also a recipient of the Glenn and Thelma College of Communications Arts of Science Endowed Memorial Scholarship. Our final recipient is Marvin Pride. Marvin is a junior studying journalism who describes himself as dependable, dedicated, and responsible. Marvin is a technical producer for Focal Point, and his proudest achievement at MSU has been making the Dean's List for three consecutive semesters. All four winners of the Ed Bradley Scholarship are here tonight, and you are looking at a live shot of those winners working hard behind the scenes to make this show happen. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations. Now for the Len Barnes AAA Michigan Fund Award. This award was started by the Auto Club Insurance Association. It honors Len Barnes, a J School alum who spent his career making Michigan Living one of the most respected travel journals. This year there are two recipients. Our first recipient is Hannah Brock. 
Brock is pursuing a master's degree in journalism in peace and justice studies. Her proudest career moment is graduating early with academic honors, and she described herself as determined, compassionate, and focused. Lindsay McCoy is the second winner, and she hopes to continue covering indigenous stories in Michigan after graduation. She is pursuing her master's degree in journalism, and she describes herself as ambitious, considerate, and attentive. Congratulations to the both of you. Next, we have the Edward A. Augenstein Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was started to honor the memory and work of Edward Augenstein, who was the presser manager at the Capitol for 35 years. Augenstein's son created this award to help students achieve their educational and professional goals. This year, there is one recipient. This year, there is one recipient, and that recipient is Andrew Roth. Andrew Roth is a senior majoring in journalism and political science pre-law. Andrew says a memorable moment for him was being a part of the motorcade of Vice President nominee Kamala Harris. Andrew is also a recipient of the Dusty Rhodes Scholarship. Congratulations, Andrew. Throughout the night, we'll be recognizing 10 students that have been honored as Mary Gardner Scholarship Award winners. Dr. Gardner served as the first winner president of the Association for Education in Journalism and Mass Communication and also ran a summer journalism workshop for 20 years for El Norte, a newspaper in Monterey, Mexico. Dr. Gardner was inducted into the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame. The Mary Gardner Scholars are the School of Journalism's most outstanding seniors with the highest grade point averages. They will, they will wear special medallions at graduation. The first two recipients of this award are Jana Bardal and Annie Barker. Our first recipient of this award is Jana Bardal, an ambitious, creative, and dedicated senior studying journalism. Her proudest moment thus far was writing a story for the state news, Beauty versus Body, MSU female athletes share body image struggles. Our second recipient of this award is senior Annie Barker, studying journalism and creative advertising. Annie is a determined and curious listener who enjoys any opportunity she has to connect with the community. Congratulations to both of our recipients. Here are faculty members Joe Grimm and Judy Walgreen to say a few words about these recipients. Oh. Jana Bardal, Mary Gardner. Jana Bardal, Mary Gardner Scholar. Wow. Mary Gardner Scholar. Wow. Next award was established in memory of Andre A. Blay. Blay earned both of his BA and MBA from MSU. It went on to be a giant in the entertainment industry. This year, three students have been awarded the Andre Blay Film Scholarship. Congratulations, Jameer Bowers, Beza Desta, and Jaden Dong. Our first winner, Jameer Bowers, is a sophomore digital storytelling and arts and humanities major. Their goal in life is to tell authentic stories everyone can enjoy while remaining humble, resilient, and bold. Our next winner, Senior Beza Desta, prides himself on being ambitious, perseverant, and empathetic. Their ultimate goal is to own their own production company in Ethiopia to promote women's rights. Our final Andre Avelay Film Scholarship Award winner is Jaden Dong. A junior media and information and film studies major, the proudest moment at MSU was their work on the Wear Your Aura film shoot for Vim Magazine. Now for the Ellen L. and Clyde L. Burton Endowed Scholarship in Journalism. Both Ellen and Clyde Burton were distinguished faculty members at MSU, Ellen in Journalism, and Clyde in the Department of Botany and Plant Pathology. This year, there are six recipients awarded the scholarship. Mary Lena Antolini is the first winner and describes herself as curious, logical, and an optimist. She hopes her research contributes to extending social justice. Mary Lena is a PhD student studying information and media. Emily Zahn is the second winner. The three words she uses to describe herself are motivated, passionate, and evolving. A key memory in Zahn's education was completing a conference paper right before the deadline. Emily is a PhD student studying information and media. 
Enrique Nunez Musa is the third winner and a core memory is his first campus visit. He states that looking at the Spartan sign is unforgettable. Enrique is a PhD student studying information and media. He's also a recipient of the College of Communication, Arts and Sciences Scholarship. Lelaine Rodriguez is the fourth winner and her career highlights include her NSF research project offering training in science communication for people of color. Lelaine is a PhD student studying information and media. Prosper Seno is the fifth winner and one memorable moment of his is attending the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame and meeting outstanding journalists. Prosper is a PhD student studying information and media. Linda White is the sixth and final winner of this award. We will hear more from Linda later on in the show as she is also our outstanding PhD student. The next two Mary Gardner scholars that we are honoring tonight are Miriam Bingham and Kyle Davidson. Miriam Bingham is a passionate, determined, and charismatic junior studying journalism and public policy. Bingham hopes to become a news anchor and inform her community. Kyle Davidson is an inquisitive, ambitious, reliable senior studying journalism and political science. He is proud of his watchdog reporting on Michigan campaign finance. Here are faculty members Jerry Zeldis and Joe Grimm to say a few words about these Mary Gardner scholars. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Miriam. Scholars Award winners. As you can see, there are many of them, and that's nothing compared to all of the award winners we still have left tonight. Congratulations to these students on their accomplishments. There are so many accomplished and talented students being honored today, and their hard work does not go unnoticed. Faculty members in the School of Journalism wanted to acknowledge and congratulate these students for all of their accomplishments. Take a look. service Bill Cote Endowed Scholarship. This scholarship is in honor of Bill Cote who worked full-time for the journalism school and ran Capital News Service until his retirement in 2002. This year there are two recipients of this scholarship. Our first recipient is Barbara Bellinger. Barbara Bellinger is obtaining her master's in journalism who has had a desire to pursue a career in journalism. Barbara has been described as smart, savvy, and driven. She is also a recipient of a College of Communications, Arts, and Sciences scholarship. Kyle Davidson is the second recipient of this scholarship. This is Kyle's second scholarship award. He is also a Mary Gardner Scholar Award winner. He is also a recipient of the College of Communication, Arts, and Sciences winner. Congratulations to Barbara and Kyle. Next, we have the Capital News Service Connections Awards. These awards are given to students who have done exceptional work in Capital News Service. Capital News Service is an online publication through MSU Spartan Newsroom, where reporters cover every aspect of state government in the Lansing community. This year, there are seven recipients. As Asia just said, this year, there are seven recipients. The first recipient is Sydney Bowler. Bowler is a senior and her most, her most memorable moment at MSU was covering MSU Society for news design meetings. These three words she uses to describe herself are artistic, detail-oriented, and ambitious. Jack Falinski is the second winner. Jack describes himself as resilient, devoted, and kind-hearted. He once led a service trip in Tennessee to create sustainable nature trails in the Cumberland Mountains. Danielle James is the third winner. She is proud of her work done with Capital News Service, and she believes it has paved the way for future opportunities. Hope O'Dell is the fourth winner, and her highlight achievement is her investigative piece published in the State News about the Office of Institutional Equity. Jada Penn is the fifth winner, and she thinks of herself as ambitious, determined, and fierce. Her story on black women at MSU was featured on the cover of the State News. The sixth winner is Nicholas Simon. He looks at himself as a multimedia reporter and is interested in international relations, commercial space flight, and ecology. The seventh and final winner is Vladislava Sukasova, who came to MSU to get her master's in journalism. She is proud of her writing about the LGBTQ community. 
Next up is the Eric Friedman Merit Award for Environmental Journalism and Capital News Service. Friedman is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and one of our professors here in the School of Journalism. On top of that, he directs the MSU Knight Center for Informational Journalism and the Capital News Service. With only one recipient, this award encourages students to explore careers in public affairs and environmental journalism. Our winner this year is Tia Potsimo. She is so tenacious. She's written a story about PFAS in New York, and she tells us that story also happens to be one of her proudest moments. Her passion and trustworthiness helped her win this award and will serve her well in her journalism career. And we are back live at the green carpet with our Capital News Service Connection, Bill Cote and Friedman Award winners. Look at all of those students. Congratulations to them for all of their hard work and dedication. While we have already begun honoring the Mary Gardner Scholars tonight, we are also honoring students with the Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship. This fund was established with a gift by the late Dr. Mary Adelaide Gardner, a legendary journalism professor at MSU from 1966 to 1991. These scholarship winners were selected by an outside committee of people who had a close relationship with Mary Gardner. Our first honoree is Devin Anderson Torres. <laughs> He is a junior at Michigan State, and he also minors in film studies, and he lives his life by also finding empathy. Some of his proudest moments were covering the 2020 social justice movement, and of course, winning this Mary Gardner scholarship. Let's toss it out to Bria Crawford, who is standing by with Devin Anderson Torres. Thanks guys, and congratulations Devin. I bet this is a huge accomplishment, and is this one of your fir first times winning an award such, such as this one? Um, yes, I've also uh, uh, won the Gannett Hispanics in Journalism uh, Scholarship last year, but I feel very honored to get this award this year. So what are the feelings and emotions that are going behind all of this, th this winning? <laughs> um, excitement, relief definitely for the, the financial assistance, um, and overall I just feel, like, like I said, very honored to be recognized like this. Oh, that's great. So one of your proudest moments in 2020 was covering this, the social justice movement. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yeah, um, I don't think I'm necessarily proud because I view it as an accomplishment, uh, more so because I put everything I had into it. And I think so much of journalism, uh, visual storytelling is really just trying to promote a positive change and understanding between one another, despite you know maybe coming from different uh, lived experiences or backgrounds that we might still be able to find a connection and that's just what I tried to do throughout the summer and um, well, that's, that's good that's yeah. a great thing to you know add to your resume and and to let people know about so you're a junior not graduating just yet so what are your plans uh, for the duration of you being at MSU and how are you gonna make that time memorable um, just continuing on with the state news I'm currently the multimedia editor I plan on doing that uh, next year and hopefully finding an internship or some freelance opportunities somewhere along the way. I can totally relate. Thank you so much again, Devin, for celebrating with us on the couch. And as always, congratulations. Thank you very much. Hi, students and parents and friends of the students. We're so glad to see you here this afternoon. Uh, I also want to say a big shout out to all those generous folks who made these gifts possible for our students. Thanks a lot. Congratulations to all our Spartan heroes who have soldiered on through this difficult COVID year, made the pivot, and are coming out looking great. Hey y'all, I want to congratulate everybody being recognized here today and just know that we are super proud and thrilled to have you in the School of Journalism and we can't wait to see what you're going to do with the skills you learn here once you're out into the world. Have a great day, know that we care about you and that our doors are always open. Now we have the Rachel Carson for Outstanding Graduate Student in Environmental Journalism Award. She was an environmentalist and author. Taylor Haltman is this year's winner. Taylor is a determined, passionate, and dependable master's student studying journalism. Taylor is most proud of her work relaunching the Food Fix podcast for the Knight Center for Environmental Journalism. Congratulations, Taylor. Next, we have the Edward J. Meeman Award for Outstanding Undergraduate Student in Environmental Journalism. Edward Meeman was an environmental journalist. Hannah Brock is the recipient of this award. This is Hannah's second award today. She received the AAA Michigan Fund Award earlier. Congratulations to Hannah. 
The next award is the Knight Center Service Award. This award goes to a student who has been affiliated with the J School's Knight Center for Environmental Journalism and has made outstanding contributions to the environmental journalism at MSU. This year's recipient is Jonas Cottrell. Jonas Cottrell is a creative, passionate, and willing master's student studying journalism. Cottrell loved meeting Susan Goldberg, the editor-in-chief of National Geographic and a School of Journalism alumna. Congratulations to Jonas. Our next two Mary Gardner Scholars are Ian Gilmore and Jillian Felton. Ian Gilmore is an entertaining, hardworking, and efficient senior in the School of Journalism. He is most proud of his play-by-play -play work for soccer programs. Jillian is a passionate, observant, and understanding senior in the School of Journalism. She is a proud, she's most proud of a documentary she created for a capstone documentary class. Here are faculty members L.A. Dickerson, Ling Hu, and John Valadez to say a few words about these Mary Gardner Scholars. Hey Jillian, how you doing? Congratulations. Congratulations on the great award. You so deserve it. I just want to say you're an artist, you're fabulous, and keep doing it, keep inspiring people, and yay, go Jillian. You're awesome. Hi Ian, um, Dan and I have known you since you were a freshman, and you are the greatest example of someone who leads by example. So we're just so proud of everything that you've accomplished from play-by-play -play to running the Spartan Sports Report, working on Focal Point, whatever. You have done it all. Every day you always have a smile on your face. And I've never been prouder than to find out that we got nominated for an Emmy for the Spartan Sports Report. And if we win, I will cry. And that's all thanks to you and Reagan and everybody else on the SSR staff. So, so proud of you. It just won't be the same here without you. And Dan and I are going to miss you so much. Congratulations, bud. Jaina Bardal, Mary Gardner Scholar. Wow. Jaina, you have been through all the bumps that COVID has thrown in the road, and you have come out on top. Congratulations on making your way through this complicated college career. You are one of the best. I want to say how proud we all are of our journalism student, Annie Barker, who has completed three internships to date, as well as worked um, through for three years at the State News as a photographer and a photo editor. Her internship work has taken her to Utah for the Deseret News. She's worked for M Live as well in Grand Rapids, and also is now working with Kathy Kay at the amazing Detroit Free Press. We are super, super impressed and super proud of this Mary Gardner Scholar. Hi, Miriam. We have so much in common. We are Filipino, we're from Flint, and we love the flow of music. I think if I were 30 years younger, we would be college roommates here at MSU, but I am not. I am going to spend the, the next 30 years following your career, and I know that you're going to do amazing things. You're going to elevate our program, the School of Journalism, MSU, and Flint Town. Congratulations on this award. Congratulations, Kyle Davidson, on being one of our top scholars. You have been a presence in this school ever since you first showed up here and came to talk to us about a thorny journalistic problem. You've been in so many classes, and now you've even been in to teach my class. I think, Kyle, you must be after my job. Congratulations. I hope you get it. Journalism Award. Then the Knight Center Service winner, and last but not least, there's the two Mary Gardner Scholars. Congratulations to these hardworking students. And now we honor Reagan Holgate as our outstanding senior. She was selected by the School of Journalism faculty for this prestigious honor. Reagan is a passionate, determined, and ambitious senior studying journalism. She says her more memorable moment was winning first place in the Broadcast Association Education Association student news competitions for a short feature reporting. Professors Bob Gould and Mike Casalucci had these words for Reagan. Reagan Holgate is live with us in the studio to say a few words about being honored as the School of Journalism's Outstanding Senior. Reagan? 
Thanks, Hunter. First, I just want to say thank you. Being named the outstanding senior for my undergraduate class is an incredible honor, and I feel so grateful. I didn't know what to expect when coming to Michigan State, but I feel so lucky to have found my place and passion in the School of Journalism. This school and its people have and always will hold such a special place in my heart. I want to give a huge thank you to my parents. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for their continued support over the last four years. And to Bob Gould, Mike Castellucci, Ellie Dickerson, Matt McCullough, and so many more, thank you for believing in me and pushing me to be better. I feel lucky to know all of you and to have learned from you. Signing off for the final time, I'm Regan Holgate for Focal Point News. Thank you so much. Once again, Susan Carter started out our next scholarship in loving memory of her mother Jane to benefit worthy and capable students at the J School. Jane J. Carter valued education, superior news reporting, and the quest for knowledge. And this year's winner is Alexandra Hill. Hill is a junior who describes herself as passionate, creative, and a storyteller. Hill's highlights at MSU include producing and working on all day shows for Focal Point News. Congratulations to Alex. Up next, we have the Michael and Sandra Clark Scholarship. Michael and Sandra Clark both obtained their degrees from MSU. Michael received his PhD from the College of Education, and Sandra got her master's in history from the College of Arts and Letters. The two were deeply concerned about science, education, and coverage of future environmental issues. This award supports students pursue, pursuing a career covering science and the environment. There is one recipient this year, Lee Ann Tiffany. Lee Ann Tiffany is a PhD student in the Information and Media program. Tiffany, a self-described storyteller and scientist, is proudest of her contribution to different research projects that improve science communication. She is also a recipient of the Mikey L. Edwardson Endowed Scholarship and Communication Arts and Sciences Scholarship. William E. Costaville worked as a sports writer for the State News in the LSJ as a student after graduating in 1974. He worked in radio for eight years before becoming a business analyst. Despite the change in career, he found his editing and photojournalism classes were an immense help to his degree and opened many doors. This year, there are 10 recipients. For our first recipient, Nicolene Bradford. She describes herself as passionate, curious, dedicated, and she hopes to tell stories that change minds and spread truth. She is also a recipient of the Glenn and Thelma College of Communication Arts of Sciences Endowed Memorial Scholarship. The second recipient is Isabella Martin. She is most proud of placing third place in the White House National Press Association contest for her general news feature video package. Our third recipient is Claire Chapin. She describes herself as patient, open-minded, and practical. She is proud of the work that she has done at MSU along with her experience reporting. Our fourth recipient is Michael Markosh. Michael is a sophomore at MSU who is passionate, intelligent, and aspirational. He is proud of the work that he has done for Impact 89 FM as a beat reporter for baseball and women's basketball. Michael is also a recipient of the William R. Jenkins Scholarship. Our fifth recipient is Maddie Monroe, who is a kind, determined, and responsible junior studying journalism. One of her proudest moments was designing the front page for the state news. Our sixth recipient is Kennedy Robinson, who is a sophomore studying journalism. Kennedy is a determined, resourceful, and intuitive student. Her most memorable moment was walking to the Breslin to watch her first basketball game with friends. The seventh recipient is Madison Rose, a kind, hardworking, and loyal junior studying journalism at MSU. Madison is proud of the work she has done and for the state news as a research reporter. The next recipient is Drew Reynolds. Drew is a peaceful, observant, and reliable senior studying journalism. She is most proud of the visual story she did of her mother's religious experiences as a child. Our eighth recipient is Melanie Sorvarnowski, a hardworking, determined, and organized junior studying journalism and communication. Melanie is proud of the centerpiece story she wrote about Women's History Month for the state news. The last recipient is Molly Wright. She is an outgoing, creative, and adventurous junior studying journalism. Her favorite moment at MSU was being in the stadium when MSU beat Michigan on Halloween weekend. Congratulations to all of these recipients. 
Let's take a look at these winners as we head back to the green carpet. We have the recipients of the Carter, Clark, and Coastable Scholarships. Congratulations to these outstanding students. This scholarship award is supported by David and Susan Pearson in honor of Susan's late father, Fred W. Stabley, Jr. After earning his graduate degree from MSU, Fred served as MSU's Sports Information Director in 1984 and helped found the College Sports Information Directors of America. Fred's basic philosophy was on quality journalism and is the Peterson's wish to help foster the next generation of Spartan sports journalists. The three recipients of the scholarship are Ethan Hunter, Marin Klein, and Brendan Shabath. Our first recipient is Ethan Hunter. Ethan is a sophomore journalism major who describes himself as a charismatic, ambitious, and a creative individual. His proudest moment at MSU was doing play-by-play -play for the Michigan State vs. Rutgers volleyball match for Big Ten Plus. Our next recipient is Marin Klein. Klein is an ambitious, outgoing, and loyal sophomore studying journalism. Klein is most proud of getting a B as a freshman girl in her first semester. Our final recipient is Brennan Shabath. Shabath is a hardworking, motivated, and passionate junior studying journalism. He is most proud of his work with WDBM Sports as a men's basketball reporter and announcer. He is also the recipient of the Terry Braverman Excellence in Sports Broadcasting Scholarship in the College of Communication. Communication, Arts, and Sciences. Congratulations to Ethan, Marin, and Brendan. Our next award is the Donald F. and Catherine K. Dahlstrom Scholarship. Both Donald and Catherine received their degrees from MSU before long and successful careers in journalism at various newspapers around the state. The two have been longtime Capitol News Service supporters and are also committed to preserving and protecting the environment. We honor one recipient tonight, and that recipient is Aaron Ho. Congratulations to Aaron Ho, our Dahlstrom Scholarship winner. Aaron is senior studying journalism and animal science and describes herself as a disciplined, ambitious, and spirited. Aaron's biggest achievement was when she completed 27 miles of Alex's Great State Race with MSU ROTC program Cadets and Cadres. Congratulations, Aaron. Taking a look back at the green carpet, these are the recipients of the School of Journalism and Dahlstrom Scholarships. Congratulations to these hardworking Spartans. Be sure to show off those certificates. Our students have come shining through with awards from local, regional, and national contests, including awards from the White House Press Photographers Association, the Broadcast Education Association, the Society of Professional Journalists, the Michigan Emmy Chapter, the Society for New Design, and the Michigan Press Association. That was a mouthful. We honor all of our award winners now, and when we come back from this video, we'll be turning it over to four new hosts who will finish out the rest of the show.
Hello, I'm Chloe Porfirio. And I'm Isabella Martin. We still have a lot of award winners to recognize tonight. Let's get right back into it with the Donald H. Anderson Family Endowed Scholarship. Donald H. Anderson's journalism degree and love for writing served him well. At MSU, he was a sports editor of the State News, and during World War II, he served in the Naval Reserves as a public relations officer. His later career pursuits were as a businessman, advertising executive, and he worked for local newspapers. But his love was writing short stories and novels, of which he was the author of three. This year's recipient is Ethan Hunter. This is Ethan's second award. Earlier, he received the School of Journalism Scholarship. Congratulations to Ethan. Our next award honors the man whose name is synonymous with Detroit sports, Joe Falls. His career began as a copy boy and ended after working at every Detroit newspaper. He was inducted into the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame in 2004. The recipient of the Joe Falls Detroit News Memorial Scholarship is Owen Ozust. Owen Ozust has spent the last two years at MSU working for both Spartan Sports Network and Impact 89 FM in a variety of roles. He enjoys being a determined and energetic journalist and especially enjoyed working on the sideline during MSU's 37-33 victory over Michigan on October 30th. Owen is also the recipient of the Roberta Jeffers Daily Endowed Scholarship. Congratulations, Owen. The next two Mary Gardner scholars we're honoring tonight are Carly Graham and Reagan Holgate. Carly Graham is a compassionate, dedicated, and attentive senior studying journalism. Some of her greatest accomplishments include being editor-in-chief of the State News and president of the MSU chapter for Society of News Design. The next recipient is Reagan Holgate. We've already heard from Reagan tonight for being recognized as the School of Journalism's outstanding senior. Here's what facu faculty members have to say of Rick Epps and Joanne Gerstner about the recipients, along with a video, Reagan Holgate from Bob Gold, Mike Castellucci, celebrating her honor as outstanding senior. It's my pleasure to tell you about Carly Graham. She's the ultimate five-tool player in baseball terms. She can hit for power, she can hit for average, she can run the bases, she can feel well, she can throw well. As it pertaining to the School of Journalism, she's a gifted print designer, print graphic artist, web designer, as well as a writer and an editor, showing leadership as the editor-in-chief of the State News. She's also the president of the MSU student chapter of the Society of News Design. She is a voracious learner. She will stop me in my tracks if we haven't gone over something in class that she wants to learn. She's a voracious and tireless learner. It's been a pleasure to work with Carly and to see her blossom into a, a versatile a journalist who can do anything, and thanks for being such an awesome person, journalist, and representative of the School of Journalism. I'd like to congratulate our Mary Gardner Scholar, Reagan Holgate. I've had the pleasure of being Reagan's professor and mentor for the past couple of years, working with her both in the classroom on her journalism, but also outside the classroom in her leadership with the Association for Women in Sports Media student group. Reagan, you're amazing. You've impressed me every step of the way. We've challenged you, we've pushed you, and you always rise to the occasion. I can't wait to see where your career takes you. And I know whatever's gonna happen, you're probably gonna have some hole-in-ones along your way. So celebrate the golf wins, celebrate your day today, and congratulations. Good luck on everything. Now, is it, is it Regan or Reagan? Reagan? Re I don't know, Reagan. I've never met her. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Uh, you go first. Well, we're out of time. Wait, are we? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good night, everybody. But oh, first, uh, Reagan Holgate. Wait, who, are, who are you? I'm Mike Castellucci. Oh, and I'm Bob Gould. But the most important person, Reagan Holgate, uh, uh, outstanding senior. Let me relate a little story. This is how I feel about you, Reagan. A colleague of mine in TV, his mantra has become, yes, I will. Even if he really doesn't want to or isn't doesn't want to do something, uh, Someone offered him tickets to the U.S. Open tennis tournament. He's not a big tennis fan, but he said, yes, I'll go. Uh, and he loved it. And that's what he does with everything. And that's how I feel about you. You say yes, and it shows. Um, you'll tackle any story we put you on. You'll direct uh, if, you, if needed. Uh, you'll mentor students, and it just speaks to who you are. Yeah, Reagan, we couldn't be more proud. You know, ever since uh, that you did that story in Journ 403 that won a national award, uh, we knew there were great things on the horizon for you. And, uh, and this just shows how hard you've worked uh, and you've come uh, this far. And, and certainly you deserve this uh, outstanding senior recognition. So congratulations. It's a great honor. Absolutely. Now from student to colleague of ours. That's right. It'll be good. A lot of years ahead. Congrats. Congrats. 
Let's go back out to the green carpet and catch the recipients of the Joe Falls Scholarship, our Mary Gardner Scholars, and the Donald Anderson Award. Congrats to these Spartans. Before we continue to recognize students with more scholarships and awards, more faculty members wanted to share some words about all of the award winners here tonight. Take a look. Professor Joanne Gerstner from Sports Journalism here. I want to say a huge congratulations to all of our award winners and also a huge shout out to the class of 2022. You made it, now go slay. Congratulations to the School of Journalism graduates. I'm thinking that when you first stepped on campus, you said, where do I go? What do I do? It's, it's, it's a whole new big world. And now you're graduating and you're probably thinking, what do I do? Where do I go? It's a whole new big world. Well, guess what? You did fabulous at Michigan State University in the School of Journalism, and you're gonna do fabulous in your career. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. You are Spartans for life. Go out in the real world, make a change, respect others, and represent the School of Journalism with pride and honor. Congratulations, Spartans. Hi, it's Perry Parks. Just a big shout out to all of our award winners. We're really proud of you. You've done great work this year. Looking forward to whatever you're gonna do next. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, you are graduating. Uh, this is a major milestone that you are reaching. But this is the first one of many others of your successes that you will have in journalism. Remember that you have a family here in the School of Journalism and it was great to have you in our classes. Congratulations again. Back in the studio, I'm Kwe Kuchini. And I'm Deborah Marshall. We'll be in the studio for the remainder of the awards. Kappa Tau Alpha is a national honor society for journalism students. It was founded in 1910 by faculty at the University of Missouri in order to form a bond between students of high academic achievement. Their Greek letters stand for knowledge, truth, and accuracy. There is one inductee this year. Delaney Arden Vanover is a junior journalism major who describes himself as curious, thorough, and hardworking. They are proudest of their story on the relationship between Ferndale and the queer community. Kappa Tau Alpha is also honoring their top graduate student scholar. This award is presented to students who achieve the highest grade point average in the chapter. Chioma Lewis is our honoree. We will, honor, we will hear more about Chioma Lewis later in the awards convoction as she is one of our outstanding master's students. Our Kappa Tau Alpha top undergraduate scholar is Aiden Shepard for having the highest GPA in the chapter. Aiden Shepard is a calm, interesting, and effective senior studying journalism. Shepard says he will always remember serving communities in Louisiana with Alternative Spartan Breaks, an organization that encourages community service during spring break. Congratulations, Aiden. Our final Mary Gardner Scholar recipients are Danielle James and Sophia Lada. Danielle has already been recognized for winning a Capital News Service Connections Award. The final Mary Gardner Scholar is senior Sophia Lada. Sophia is a journalism and political science major. Her most memorable moment at MSU was when she published her first freelance story for the Oakland Press. Faculty members Dave Polson and Eric Friedman have these words to say about Danielle and Sophia. Hi, I'm Dave Polson at the MSU School of Journalism, and I'm here to introduce and to recognize Danielle James. Now, Danielle is a great student. She's a strong contributor in the classroom, but I would argue that she's an even better journalist. Danielle survived and thrived through two tours of duty in the Capitol News Service Bureau. She even took CNS as an independent study to write a history of CNS. Now, I like to think that Danielle not only wrote that history, she contributed to it significantly, writing dozens of political and state government stories. She's also a prolific contributor to the Great Lakes Echo, the news service of um, the Knight Center for Environmental Journalism. And she's already working at MERS, a professional uh, state government reporting service based here in Lansing. She leaves MSU as a well-qualified political reporter. She leaves MSU as a well-accomplished political reporter. And the faculty here at MSU, well, we look forward to watching that career continue to blossom. Congratulations, Danielle. Congratulations to Sophia Lada, a journalism and political science major. And 
one of our top Capital News Service correspondents. She's done a brilliant job at the Lansing State Journal as an editorial assistant with her byline there. She's begun freelance writing and she has a bright future in journalism. Back to the green carpet we go as we see our Capital Alpha winners accepting their certificates. MSU alum Dr. Mickey Edwardson established our next scholarship in memory and recognition of environmental lawyer James Lawrence Fly. Fly was the general solicitor and counsel of the Tennessee Valley Authority, which has improved the environment and given citizens access to more affordable energy in seven states. The award is given to outstanding master's and Ph.D. students studying environmental science communication with the Knight Center. This year's winner of the Mickle L. Edwardson Award is Leanne Tiffany. Leanne has already been recognized tonight for receiving the Michael A. and Sandra S. Clark Scholarship. Congratulations, Leanne. Up next is a Winthrop Faulkner Award. MSU J School Allen James Faulkner and his wife established the scholarship in honor of James's father, Winthrop, to encourage students to follow the advice Winthrop gave to his son and get an education. This year's winner of the Winthrop Faulkner Award is Tara Mezen. Mezen is working towards a PhD in information and media. Tara said three words to describe herself are passionate, inventive, and evolving. Tara is proud of watching her students grow and push themselves creatively. Tara is also a recipient of the College of Communication General Scholarship. The next award was established in honor of Larry Lee, a 1970 graduate of the School of Journalism. At MSU, he began to appreciate the importance of a worldview in addressing problems. Extensive travel, travel throughout his life underscored the great opportunities to enhance learning by extended exposure to people in other countries. There are two recipients of this award. The first recipient is Lindsay McCoy. McCoy has already been recognized today for winning the Len Barnes AAA Michigan Fund Award. The next recipient is Leah Mitchell. We will hear more about Leah throughout the awards convocation as she is also one of our outstanding master's students. Congratulations to Lindsay and Leah. The next award is the Elizabeth Maynard Neal Overseas Study Scholarship. Elizabeth Maynard Neal supported her grandson, Craig J. Gehring, in his six-month overseas study experience to Yugoslavia when he attended MSU. The experience was a life-changing event for him, giving him an understanding and appreciation of other cultures. This year, there are five recipients of the Elizabeth Maynard Neal Overseas Study Scholarship. Our first winner is Veronica Bolanos. Veronica is a committed, diligent, and thoughtful senior. Veronica's favorite memory at MSU was beating Michigan twice in 2021. Our next winner is most proud of her work in Media Sandbox as part of the Periwinkle Street Team. Lily Cross, a junior journalism major, also describes herself as a bright, courageous, and versatile student. Lily is also a recipient of the Alyssa Harvey Dawson Communication Arts and Sciences Student Experience. Our third winner is Teriana Gregory, a junior journalism major who is proudest of her work at the State News. She also describes herself as an understanding, ambitious, and curious individual. Our second to last winner is a kind, loyal, and motivated junior. Annie Heater, a journalism major, worked at Big Ten Student U and is proudest of how they helped multiple productions come together. Our final winner is Taylor Truskowski, a journalism and political science major. They are an ambitious, intelligent, and confident student. Their favorite memory at MSU was meeting all their friends at Mayo Hall. You're looking at our Edwardson, Faulkner, Larry Lee, and Maynard Neal scholarship winners out on the green carpet. These students have worked tirelessly for this moment and it's all paying off. Congratulations, Spartans. Cameron Cass is the second Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winner of the night. She's a junior journalism student who describes herself as kind, curious, and jubilant. Her proudest moments include hosting yoga classes at W.J. Beale Botanical Garden to fund an internship. Bria Crawford is standing by with Cameron Cass. Guys, 
Cameron, congratulations. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling overjoyed and a bit speechless, which is new for me. Being a writer, I'm at a loss for words. Oh, how crazy is that? So is this your first time receiving the, a scholarship? It is, yeah. So take us through the moment of when you first opened that email and seen that you received it. <laughs> um, I did do a double take. I thought it might have been fake or something. I don't know. I'd applied to a bunch, but um, it was almost too good to be true. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so. One of your most memorable moments was hosting a yoga event at the Botanical Gardens. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, for sure. So I did an internship last fall, and in addition to writing, we had to do a fundraiser. And I was like raking my brain for something good to do. And I teach yoga, and I thought what a great thing to do on like a beautiful Saturday morning in the garden. So I got a group together and uh, did my fundraiser that way. Oh, that's great. Raising money in the best way possible. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So you're a junior, mm -hmm. not graduating just yet, but soon. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to spend your time here at Michigan State, and how are you plan to make it memorable? Um, I just really want to enjoy everything State has to offer while continuing to write and um, hone my skills. I want to get into more broadcast classes and, um, yeah, just hone different skills this semester. I understand. Come sit where I'm sitting and learn some new skills. <laughs> yeah. feel it. Well, thank you so much for sitting on the couch with us and celebrating. Thank you. And as always, congratulations again. Thanks so much. <laughs> Many of the students in the School of Journalism also won scholarships from the College of Communication Arts and Sciences. We honor those students now. First up, we have the Glenn and Thelma Buell Endowed Memorial Scholarship. This award encourages students who seek opportunities to further their educational and professional goals. Okay. He is a freshman journalism student that is most proud of the sports feature stories that he has written for the state news. Another one given through the Communication Art and Sciences College is the Donald and Annette Neal Scholarship. MSU alumna Diane Neal established this award with the hope that it will allow students with big aspirations yet limited resources to secure an education at MSU. One recipient of this award is journalism sophomore Sarah Marilyn. She is a sophomore journalism student who attributes all of her accomplishments to her four-year-old daughter. In 1989, the Gannett Foundation established a scholarship in the hopes of encouraging Hispanic students to study journalism and to encourage diversity in the field of journalism. This year's winners of the Gannett Hispanics and Journalism Scholarship are Janelle James and Angela Solomon. Our first winner, Janelle James, is a junior studying journalism and public policy. Janelle says three words to describe her are hardworking, courageous, and open-minded. And her best moment was getting hired as the state government reporter at the State News. Janelle is also a recipient of the College of Communications Sheldon and Ackerman Moyer Endowed Scholarship. Angela Solomon is the second recipient of this scholarship. Angela is a junior studying journalism. Three words to describe her are ambitious, empathetic, and optimistic. Angela's most memorable moment was working with peers in the pandemic, delivering food packages to the homeless. Angela is also a recipient of the Alyssa Harvey Dawson Communication Arts and Sciences Student Experience and the William R. Jenkins Scholarship. Congratulations, Janelle and Angela. This next scholarship is awarded in honor of Robert Godfrey, a 1947 MSU grad. Godfrey worked in journalism for 33 years, working as both a radio and television reporter and editor, as well as in radio station management. The award is given to students of high academic achievement who are leaders in their extracurricular groups. Anna Traver is this year's Godfrey Scholarship winner. Anna Traver is a junior studying journalism. Three words Anna uses to describe herself are driven, goal-oriented, and empathetic. Anna is proud of working on the fashion team and as assistant editor-in-chief for Vim Magazine. Congratulations to Anna. Time to check back into the green carpet. We have the recipients of the Com Arts Gannett Hispanics and Godfrey Scholarships. Great job, everyone. Now we feature this year's co-outstanding master's students, Chioma Lewis and Leah Mitchell. Chioma Lewis has already been recognized tonight for being named Capital Alpha Top Graduate.
co-recipient Leah Mitchell is a master's journalism student. She describes herself in three words as selfless, hardworking, and open-minded. Her proudest achievement was that she was the first of seven siblings to graduate with a college degree. Here's what professors Eric Friedman and Judy Walgren had to say about Lewis and Mitchell. To Chioma Lewis, our graduating master's student who came to MSU from Southern California and brought with her her love of squirrels, her excitement, her enjoyment of environmental journalism, and her willingness to explore new technologies and new science in ways that the people and the public can understand. We were pleased to have her at the, her first Society of Environmental Journalists conference earlier this month. I want to say how proud we all are of our journalism student, Annie Barker, who has completed three internships to date, as well as worked um, th for three years at the State News as a photographer and a photo editor. Her internship work has taken her to Utah for the Deseret News. She's worked for M Live as well in Grand Rapids, and also is now working with Kathy Kay at the amazing Detroit Free Press. We are super, super impressed and super proud of this Mary Gardner Scholar. While unfortunately Chayoma could not make it tonight, she was able to share with us a few words about this honor. It is an honor to be selected as a co-recipient of the 2021 to 2022 Outstanding Graduate Student Award. Thank you to my professors, fellow classmates, and journalism faculty who have supported me during my time in the program. Thank you, Chioma, and congratulations again. Leah is live with us in the studio to say a few words about being honored as a School of Journalism Outstanding Master's Student. Leah? It is a huge honor for me to be receiving this award. Attending such a prestigious university is amazing, but being able to get the Outstanding Master's Award is unreal. Growing up, I always dreamed of going to college, and my parents drilled education into our family. They reminded me and my siblings that it's something no one can ever take away from you. Even though education was preached to me growing up, I'm the youngest and first of my siblings, seven siblings to graduate with my bachelor's and to attend grad school. I am deeply honored by the faculty here for this recognition and thank each one of you for helping me reach my educational and personal goals. Thank you, School of Journalism, for providing top-notch education and professors. Lastly, I want to recognize my cohort because they have been the best support and I'm thankful for this experience with you all. Thank you. And congratulations once again. Next up is the Wanda J. Herndon Scholarship established by Wanda Herndon, a native of Flint, Michigan. She's a member of the J School Professional Advisory Council and a distinguished alumnus of MSU. Herndon established this journalism scholarship to provide assistance for students from her hometown and the surrounding areas. This year there is one sole winner and her name is Miriam Bingham. Miriam Bingham has already been recognized tonight for being named a Mary Gardner Scholar. She's also a recipient of the Glenn and Thelma Buell College of Communication Arts of Sciences Endowed Memorial Scholarship and the Garonsky Family Scholarship. Congratulations, Miriam. Former editor of the Daily Tribune, William Howell, was notorious for holding his reporters to strict standards and fairness of objectivity. This next award established in memory of his parents is given to the MSU undergrad who writes the best essay examining media bias. And this year there are four winners. The first winner is Andrew Miller Thomas. Andrew is a sophomore majoring in journalism who is ambitious, observant, and creative. A fond memory is the first time he performed at open mics organized through his job at UAB. Kate Townley is another recipient who is getting her degree in journalism and astrophysics. Despite her heavy workload, she's most proud of conquering difficult classes. <laughs> Junior journalism major Zachary Urban is another winner who describes himself as humble, empathetic, and kind. He's proud of his perfect track record of being on the Dean's List every semester at MSU. Our final winner is Tony Wells, a senior <clears throat> majoring in communication who is kind, humble, and thankful. Her most memorable moment was taking PR 101 with Dr. Bree Holtz. Congratulations to the winners. 
The next award is the Kyle Kerbaway Scholarship. Kerbaway was the editor of the state news and graduated from the J School in 1967. He went on to earn his MBA in 1969 and established the scholarship to provide financial assistance to a journalism graduate student to help support their research. This year we have one winner of the Kerbaway Scholarship. Congratulations to Leah Mitchell. We just recently heard from Leah Mitchell for being recognized as the School of Journalism Outstanding Master Student and winning the Larry Lee Overseas Study Scholarship. Our next scholarship is the Susan L. Silk Journalism Study Abroad Scholarship. As a professional with a distinguished career in journalism and public relations, Susan Silk places great value on the quality of education students receive as undergraduates. She understands that overseas travel and study provides not only an educational opportunity, but personal growth. This year, we have two winners of this scholarship. Our first Susan L. Silk Scholarship winner is Melanie Sovereinsky. Melanie has already been recognized tonight for winning the William E. Costabile Scholarship. Molly Wright is the other winner of this Silk Scholarship. She's also a junior and a journalism major. Three words that she said describes her are outgoing, creative, and adventurous. And her favorite memory is being in the MSU Stadium when MSU beat Michigan Halloween weekend. Congratulations to Mel Melanie and Molly. It's time to show off our winners, and as we head back out to the green carpet, we have the recipients of the Herndon, Howell Essay, Kerbaway, and Silk Scholarships. Congrats, and go green. Drew Corteska is our third student winning the Mary Adeline Gardner Scholarship. Drew is a junior in journalism, and his most memorable moment at MSU was in 2021, when he reported live amid the chaos on campus after MSU beat Michigan in football. Let's check in with Bria, who is standing by with Drew Corteska. Thanks, guys. Congratulations, Drew. This is a big accomplishment. How are you feeling? Um, biggest thing is just grateful. Um, just, just kind of received this amount of this scholarship and won for Dr. Gardner's name, and then also just the amount of money is game changing. So just oh, grateful mostly. Absolutely. Is this your first time winning a scholarship in the J School? Uh, no, last year I won the W. Cameron Myers scholarship. So. Oh, so you're a lucky man, huh? What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> So one of your proudest moments was covering the big victory football game this past fall with U of M, that school down the street, mm -hmm. and we won. Yep. Talk about it. How was that like? Yeah, um, I got placed there by uh, the state news in general uh, because we knew that Cedar Village was going to be a hot spot for like, you know, celebrations and stuff. So I was with Warren Sander, my photographer, um, and Dan Netter, my uh, fellow reporter. Um, yeah, and things just kind of got out of control really quickly. Um, it was quite the experience. Um, I had to go back and forth to this house, get Wi-Fi, the post, and but to get to state news on a national stage was a pretty big deal. That's amazing. I bet you couldn't hear afterwards. It was crazy. Oh, nice. yeah, no, I, that was the most tired I've been in a long time. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you're a junior, mm -hmm. and I don't know how we're going to be able to top that memory, but you've got a little bit of time before you graduate. So how are you going to spend that time here and make it memorable, more memorable than that memory you just shared? Yeah, um, well, I got an internship this summer, and uh, going back to the state news next year, so just hoping to, you know, dive into some more stories um, and, yeah, just hopefully uh, get to experience at least something equivalent to uh, covering the game. Well, so. I hope so. Best of luck to you. Congratulations, and thanks for celebrating with us today on the couch. Right. Have a great day, and thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. The award is the John H. Krieg Memorial Scholarship in Newspaper Journalism. This award was established by friends and colleagues of John Krieg, a 1982 J School graduate after he died in an apartment fire in 1984. Krieg worked for a variety of small and mid-sized daily newspapers in Michigan, including news editor of the Morning Sun in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. He worked for the State News as a copy editor and won numerous writing awards during his time at MSU. This year, there are three recipients. Claire Chapin is the first recipient. Claire has already been recognized tonight for winning the William E. Costabile Scholarship. Isabella Martin is the second winner of the scholarship. Isabella has also already been recognized tonight for the William E. Costabile Scholarship. And Taylor Truskowski is the third winner. Taylor has already been recognized tonight for winning the Elizabeth Magner Neal Overseas Study Scholarship. Congratulations to our winners. Our next award is the W. Cameron Myers Fellowship Fund Scholarship. This award was created in honor of W. Cameron Myers a longtime newspaper reporter and editor who taught at the J School from 1952 to 1974, a member of the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame, students were impacted by Professor Meyer's demands for excellence. 
memorable anecdotes and views of the world. This year, there are two recipients. Leanne Espinoza is the first winner. Espinoza is a sophomore at MSU, majoring in both journalism and dietetics. She prides herself on being a unique and genuine journalist who is proud of being able to cover multiple sports teams, including several area soccer clubs. Elizabeth Nass is the second award winner. Nass is also a sophomore journalism major who takes pride in being a diligent and tenacious reporter. She still remembers the joy she felt seeing her first byline for the state news. Our next award is the Robert Popa Scholarship. Robert Popa was a 1953 graduate of the J School. Popa worked at the Oakland Press, Stars and Stripes, and the Detroit News. He also served as the first press secretary to Detroit Mayor Coleman Young and Michigan Press Secretary for the Carter Mondale campaign. This scholarship was established by his friends following his death in 1989. This year, there are three winners for the Robert Popa Scholarship. Mariana Cristian Santos Bittencourt de Almada is the first winner of the scholarship. Mariana describes herself as an advocate, creative, and team player. Her favorite memory at Michigan State has been her first day or journal of journalism classes because it confirmed her decision to become a journalist. Lindsay Hyams is the second winner. Lindsay is a junior majoring in journalism and public relations. She describes herself as an ambitious and curious self-starter. Lindsay hopes to work at a fashion or beauty PR firm after graduating. Adama Bonu is the first winner, is the third winner, I'm sorry. She is the master's student studying journalism who describes herself as a walking success story. And she is most proud of her work in Journalism 801, a multiple media reporting class. Next is the Gordon A. Sabine Endowed Journalism Scholarship. Named and donated by Dr. Robert Sabine and his wife, Ellen, Dr. Sabine was the first dean of the MSU College of Communication, Arts and Sciences. With a career as a newspaper reporter, editor and educator. He stressed the importance of education for journalism. He was also served as the vice president for special products at MSU. This year's winners are Brooke Miller and Madison Reinhold. Brooke Miller is a junior studying journalism. The three words she uses to describe herself are passionate, clever, and kind. Her favorite memory is her first MSU football game. Madison Reinhold is also a junior studying journalism. Three words she uses to describe herself are resourceful, practical, and joyful. Her greatest achievement is writing for the entertainment team at Impact 89 FM. Heading back to the green carpet now, we have the recipients of the Krieg, Myers, Popa, and Sabine scholarships. Way to go, Spartans. We now move to the outstanding PhD student. This year's outstanding PhD student is Linda White. Linda White is working towards her PhD in information and media. Linda describes herself as a child of God and her most memorable moment was publishing her first journal article with Dr. Perry Parks. Linda is also a recipient of the Burton and College of Communication Arts and Sciences scholarships. Here's what faculty member Perry Parks has to say about Linda. Hi, I'm Perry Parks, here to introduce Ms. Linda White, our most outstanding PhD student. Linda has shown tremendous leadership in a lot of areas for us. She's been a great mentor uh, and colleague to her fellow PhD students. She's been a wonderful teaching assistant and a teacher of record on many of our important classes. And she's been really an essential member of our faculty uh, search and hiring team. So we're very proud of Linda and very grateful for her contributions and her wisdom. Linda is live with us in the studio to say a few words about being honored as a School of Journalism Outstanding Student. Linda. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Kwaku, and thank you, Dr. Perry, for those comments. Giving God all the glory as I enter my final year as a PhD student, I'm so proud to stand here and honored uh, to receive this award and scholarships. It has been an amazing journey. I would like to thank my family for their loving support, as well as my friends who have encouraged me and maybe listened to me complain a little bit. Um, a special thanks to my comps and dissertation committee, Dr. Esther Thorson, Dr. Teresa Mastin, Dr. Rachel Morale, and Dr. Salim Alhabash. 
much. Thanks also to the scholarship committees, the School of Journalism faculty, and information and media program faculty. Many of you have been gracious with your time and guided me on this journey. And finally, thanks to Professors Bob Gould and Mike Castellucci and the students you see in front of and behind the camera for welcoming me to, me to this class this semester. Focal point, you guys rock. Parents, you should be very proud. Go green. Thanks, Linda, and congratulations once again. We appreciate you as our teaching assistant this summer. Next up, the Soften Scholarship honors former J School director and ombudsman Stan Soften. Stan is a member of the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame and was director at the MSU J School for 16 years. This scholarship is awarded to a full-time student who performed volunteer community service and demonstrated potential talent and aptitude in journalism by earning at least a 3.0 in Journ 200 and 3. This year's recipients of the SOFIN scholarship are Ryan Redisovich and Morgan Womack. Ryan is a junior journalism student. His accomplishments include working for Impact 98 FM, covering press conferences, writing stories, and announcing games. Three words he uses to describe himself are always keep going. Our second recipient, Morgan Womack, is a driven, passionate, and curious sophomore studying journalism. Womack is most proud of her administration reporting at the State News. The Spaniolo Scholarship honors Victor G. Spaniolo, a graduate of Michigan State University. Spaniolo, along with his four children, who also graduated from MSU, all worked at the State News. He was a founding member and chair of the board of directors at the State News and his family established the scholarship in memory of their father. The winner of this award is Eli McOwen. Eli McOwen is a fun, loving, and energetic junior studying journalism. During his time at MSU, McOwen covered a variety of stories for MSU sports, with Mark D'Antonio's retirement being his favorite. Congratulations, Eli. The next award is the Stone Boyd Student Opportunity Scholarship. The Stone Boyd Student Opportunity Scholarship is named after Robin D. Stone, a 1986 graduate of the School of Journalism. With a career serving as an editor for the New York Times, the Boston Globe, and the Detroit Free Press, Stone hopes this scholarship will be given to students who have shown leadership skills in the face of adversity, overcome obstacles, or have interest in promoting cross-cultural understandings. This year's recipient is Annie Barker. We've already heard the name Annie Barker once tonight for being recognized as a Mary Gardner Scholar. Congratulations, Annie. Marian Tuttle Marzal, Professor Emirata at the University of Michigan, taught courses in reporting, journalism history, and women in journalism from 1967 until her retirement in 1995. She received her BA in journalism at Michigan State University and was active in the Association for Education in Journalism and Women in Communication. This year's winner of the Marion Tuttle Marzolf Scholarship is Kennedy Robinson. Kennedy Robinson has already been recognized once tonight for winning the William E. Coastable Scholarship. Congratulations again to Kennedy. Let's take another look at some of tonight's winners out on the green carpet. We have the Soften, Spaniolo, Stone Boyd, and Marzolf Scholarship recipients. Congrats to these successful scholars. The next award is the Albert Applegate Scholarship. Albert Applegate is considered by many to be the Dean of Michigan Journalism Educators. Dr. Applegate served as the chairman of the School of Journalism from 1936 to 1955. By the time he retired, he developed friendships with nearly every editor and publisher in Michigan. He is also a member of the Michigan Journalism Hall of Fame. There are four winners of the Albert Applegate Scholarship this year. Bella Garisic is currently a junior in the School of Journalism. She describes herself as passionate, dedicated, and motivated. Gorisic notes that she is proudest of the work she's done at BTN here on campus. Zach Sardinick is another winner of the Albert Applegate Scholarship. He is also a junior in the School of Journalism. Zach describes himself as passionate, dedicated, and determined. His greatest memory so far was broadcasting at the Peach Bowl in Atlanta for WDBM Impact 89 FM. Another recipient, Madeline Warren, is also a junior in the School of Journalism. She describes herself as dedicated, reliable, and caring. Madeline is proudest of her work at the State News and in her courses here at MSU. Our final winner is Jeremy Weber, a junior in the digital storytelling major. We've already heard about Jeremy Weber when he received the Glenn and Thelma Buell 
College of Communication Arts and Sciences Scholarship. He is also a recipient of the Glenn and Thelma College of Communications Arts and Sciences Endowed Memorial Scholarship. Now we've recognized and heard from three Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winners tonight, but several other students have also been recognized and awarded scholarships. There are nine more Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winners tonight. Our first scholarship winner is Jack Harrison. Not only is Jack Harrison a Mary Adelaide Gardner Scholarship winner, but he also served as an ASMSU representative for the School of Communications, Arts, and Sciences. Jack is also a recipient of the Communication Arts and Sciences Scholarship. The next scholarship recipient, Janelle James, is a name we've heard once today for winning the Gannett Hispanics in Scholarship. Congrats again to her. Elaine Mellon is a senior journalism and international relations major. She describes herself as intelligent, funny, and inquisitive. Her most memorable moment was celebrating MSU basketball advancing to the Final Four. Eli McCown is the next Mary Gardner Scholarship recipient. We've already heard from him once today for winning the Spinolo Scholarship. Congrats again to him. Maddie Monroe is a Mary Gardner Scholarship winner who has already been recognized tonight for winning the William E. Costabile Scholarship. Our next scholarship winner is Drew Reynolds. Drew has also been recognized tonight for winning the William E. Costabile Scholarship. Madison Rose is a Mary Gardner Scholarship recipient who also earned the William E. Costabile Scholarship earlier today. Our next scholarship winner, Kate Townley, a second scholarship winner, works with Bold.org, a college scholarship company. Congrats again to her. Our last Mary Gardner scholarship recipient is Anna Traver. This is Anna's second scholarship win. She was awarded the Godfrey Scholarship earlier. The Mary Gardner top scholars are awarded to students of junior status with high grade point averages. These students have also held a professional level internship or worked in the state news. There are three students named Mary Gardner Top Scholars. Our first top scholar is Dinah Carr. Dinah Carr is a dedicated, passionate, and inquisitive senior studying journalism and public relations. She is most proud of interning for the Cape Cod Times and writing meaningful articles. Dinah is also a recipient of the Glenn and Thelma College of Communications, Arts, and Sciences Endowed Memorial Scholarship. Our next top scholar is Sam Sklar. Sam is a motivated, selfless, and humble junior studying journalism. A great memory for Sam was watching MSU defeat Michigan in football last fall. Our final top scholar is Sarah Smith. Sarah is a passionate, driven, and lighthearted senior studying journalism. Her most adorable, her most memorable moment, rather, was being filled with phot photographers at the Peach Bowl during MSU's victory against Pitt. Congratulations to these Mary Gardner Top Scholars. The School of Journalism will be represented at the College of Communication, Arts, and Sciences undergraduate commencement this May with the selection of the commencement speaker. Reagan Holgate was chosen to give the commencement speech, but three finalists were also named. They are Ian Gilmore, Max Jenkins, and Julian Stainback. Congratulations to Reagan and our three finalists. It's time to look back at the green carpet. We have some exceptional Spartans, our Mary Gardner top scholars and commencement speech finalists. Way to represent MSU, everyone. We want to take a second to pay tribute to Dr. Howard Boston. Dr. Boston has been a faculty member in the School of Journalism since 1979, and after 41 years, he has made the decision to retire. We want to thank him for his dedicated years of service. Here's a special tribute to Howard and all he has done for, all, for Michigan State University. It's been my pleasure and privilege to work closely with Howard Boston for more than 20 years, including our ongoing project that looks at the history of steel, and the history of photography and how they together help shape our, our world. What do you do with over four decades of stuff in an office? Like, I don't even know where I would begin. Oh, Howard. The things we choose to keep. Like, check this out. Look at this. He must have had this in his very first year here uh, at MSU. This is like a stereoscope thing. 
Um, wow. And he's got Kodak Verichrome. I mean, come on. This is amazing. Amazing artifact. And then, of course, there's the Kodak Carousel slide tray with slides from one of his 10,000 visits to Europe. Wow. Well, I'm really going to miss Howard. He's my, the reason why I'm here. Um, he's been my mentor. He's my neighbor, my dear friend. I feel like he's a, a member of my family. Um, wow. I also need to support him to not forget to pack this in his boxes as he moves to Houston, Texas. Howard, we're going to miss you. You're a character that will always be remembered fondly here in the MSU School of Journalism, and we wish you the best on your life going forward. Have a great, great journey in Houston. Howard Boston, we are going to miss you in so many ways, two of which are personally and professionally. You know, everybody wanted to do a video tribute to you, but as you can imagine, scheduling faculty is like, well, herding cats. So everybody sent in a word or two phrase that they thought described you. And reading all of them, it's apparent, Howard. You're all heart. Let's see what they had to say. Howard is honest and moral, always taking the high ground. Generous, a caring friend and mentor. Stubborn, but always right. Compassionate and passionate. Wise, smart, 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 intelligent. Thoughtful and always worth listening to in faculty meetings. And there's so much more. Howard, when you and Kathy leave us, it's apparent you will be taking our hearts with you. But there's also so much to talk about when it comes to you professionally, not just your successes, but also what you have done for the School of Journalism. And this is the School of Journalism. Our visual communication program began with you. You started what it is today. You developed new and innovative classes in visual communication you invited internationally known photographers that you knew personally to come to Michigan State University and talk with our students. You orchestrated um, photo exhibitions at globally known museums. The Carnegie Museum comes to mind with Luke Swank. And you garnered a huge pile of press releases from all over the world that thought this was a great exhibition. You also have experts knocking on your door asking you to please judge every year multiple international photo competitions. And you and Darcy started the Photo Study Abroad program. And it is one of the longest running programs at Michigan State University and so successful that other colleges, <coughs> Arts and Letters, which will, will remain nameless, copied. So, um, and Howard, you were ahead of your curve. Also, when it comes to you put in the Mac lab in the, in, down below in room 243. It was the first of its kind, not only at this university and other universities, but across the world. Everybody else was doing DOS. You said Macs are the ones that do design. You also have written books and research and uh, they are one of their kind and creative and you're doing some right now. I remember also when you and Quint Randall and I did a series of research on digital uh, photo archives that for AEJMC won top paper awards three years in a row. Personally, Howard, I wanna thank you for being welcoming to junior faculty, all junior faculty and me as well. I remember when I first was hired at Michigan State University, 
that I needed a place to stay while I looked for a place to live. You and Kathy were so kind because you and Darcy were doing photo abroad and you said, please stay at our house while you look. And it was amazing, your beautiful house. And I wanted to keep everything looking good because I was making a good impression as a new faculty member. But I think that all went down the drain. If you remember, that big old fish tank that you had broke and all that water went everywhere. Howard, you have been ahead of the curve with visual communication globally as well as at Michigan State University. You have kept your colleagues on our toes as we are always reminded that visual is just as important as text, whether it's in the research or the creative. You've been a champion. You're also a champion of students, and that has been noticed with the awards that you have won for mentoring undergraduates, graduates, honor students, URF students, and they have won awards when it comes to the university as well as nationally. There's just so much more, Howard. So, Howard, thanks to your leadership and your legacy, MSU's School of Journalism is bigger and stronger than ever before. Thank you, Howard. We're going to miss you. And now I'm going to go cry. Our students in the School of Journalism are certainly appreciative of the awards and scholarship they've earned. Let's hear from some of them. Hello, my name is Lee Ann Tiffany. My name is Jack Harrison. This is Lily Cross, and I just wanted to express my continued thanks to those a part of the selection process that chose me for the Elizabeth Mangan Neal Overseas Study Scholarship. I want to thank the faculty of the School of Journalism for this scholarship. It confirms that coming to Michigan State University from Santiago, Chile was the best decision. To the Michigan State School of Journalism, I want to say thank you for your generosity. Uh, scholarships like this allow me to focus on jobs in journalism, such as working for the East Lansing Info or the State News in East Lansing. Um, it also affirms my interest in journalism and public relations, and I'm so grateful the college offers these scholarships every year. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We'd like to give special thank yous for all the hard work behind the scenes and Buddy's Pizza for sponsoring this event. First, Professor L.A. Dickerson as a coordinating producer, helping with logistics, and most importantly, feeding the crew. Professors Bob Gould, Mike Castellucci, and Linda White as advisory faculty for the on-air host and for overseeing the production of the show. Production supervisor Matt McCullough and his crew for directing and providing all the technical assistance in this multi-camera shoot. Professor Rick Epps for creating all the graphics we use tonight. Brian Cush for his genius technology support. J School Administrator Barb Miller for the hours and hours of working behind the scenes, organizing the scholarship applications, the awards, getting students to send in biographies, videos, and keeping the rest of us on schedule. We truly appreciate your hard work. One more thank you to all the students for their hard work and hard-earned awards. We hope you enjoyed your chance to celebrate these outstanding students. On behalf of the entire crew and our other hosts, I'm Chloe Porfirio. And I'm Isabella Martin. See you next year.